Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I know that y'all have been waiting for an update from me for a very, very, very long time. Um, I feel like I need to get this video out the way before I can um, feel comfortable with doing updates again. Some of you I have kept in contact with through comments, um, DMs messages on Facebook um so you know some of you know how you know things have been going and I probably said oh everything's good everything's okay <laughs> um I like to keep in touch with all of you so if you guys hit me up I definitely will respond I want to thank you guys for you know staying committed to my channel and you know checking in and all the congratulations and everything I definitely love you guys, and to all my new subscribers, thank you <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> it has been a lot of you. My, um, my, um, how did I get pregnant with PCOS video kind of brung in a lot of new traffic. Um, and I hope all of you are not stressing out too much about trying to conceive. I've been there and I know, I know, I know how stressful it can be. I just hope that all of you have the support that you need and that you're not going through it alone. But yeah, welcome and thank you for coming. The last update I gave was five weeks. <laughs> um, right now I'm currently 31 weeks and about five days. Um, I have had a really, 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 really rough pregnancy, and um, this is usually not something that's talked about when it comes to pregnancy. A lot of people heard about, like, postpartum, but never really during pregnancy, so I think it should be talked about. Um, I know I was supposed to put this up yesterday, but I wasn't up to it <laughs> I couldn't find myself to talk about it um, I don't know what the difference is now I'm just going to just go ahead and do it but whatever um, after my last update I kind of got depressed um, I can't really say specifically why because it's just so much going on but it's just what it is um I've been really really sick I don't have a bond or a connection with my baby even though she's growing inside of me um I find myself having negative thoughts that maybe I shouldn't have not anything like deadly or like suicidal or killing my baby or anything like that but um sometimes I do feel like I don't deserve her um I have support from other people but the one person that I need support from I can't get it from so, I feel alone. Um, I don't like to talk about it. I don't like to talk to people because I feel like they don't understand. I really don't want people to understand because it's not really something like a continuous conversation or a, con a conversation that I want to keep having. It kind of is what it is if you don't understand it whatever I'd rather be alone and deal with it on my own than I have to keep having to explain why and how and stuff like that um I kind of push myself away from everybody and I just want to be alone um I know they say that when you're depressed it's better to be around people but I really just don't want to. I feel like how I feel is how I look. And with how I look, people ask me what's wrong. 
and I feel like I have to lie. Um, I don't like lying to people. But I also don't like people in my business. <laughs> and I don't like having to explain myself. Especially when the other person is not going through it. They most likely won't understand. So, If you know me, then you know that one thing about myself is that I like to be in control. And I like to pre-plan everything to a T and make sure it's perfect, especially when it comes to things that I really, really care about or that I really, really want and stuff like that. And I feel like the beginning of my pregnancy didn't go how I imagined it was supposed to go. And I didn't have a lot of control over things that were happening and how people felt. When I felt that it should have been different because that's how I pictured it <laughs> and how it was supposed to be. Um, like I said, I was really, really sick and I felt like I didn't have any control over my own body. I started to not hate myself, but kind of like it was I, I couldn't do anything about it. And it was just like. I don't know how to explain it it's hard talking and expressing your feelings because their feelings like words and feelings sometimes don't really match like you can't really find the words for it but I just felt like I didn't have control over my body and things just were happening and I just couldn't stop it <laughs> um then when I started noticing other people and how far they were and how much they said that they loved their baby and how much of a connection that they have and stuff like that. Whereas I didn't feel anything. I um, I wasn't showing at all. Um, I'm still barely showing and I'm 31 weeks. <laughs> but I wasn't showing at all and I have a um, anterior placenta. In a retroverted uterus which means that my uterus is tilted backwards and my placenta is in the front so being though I wasn't showing I couldn't see that that I was pregnant and I couldn't feel that I was pregnant I couldn't feel flutters or anything like that so I just didn't feel pregnant it was like I, I was sick so I knew that I was pregnant but it was just like all of this is happening for nothing because I can't see or feel anything. And that kind of made the depression worse because I still couldn't believe that I was pregnant. Like, I I just felt like it was nothing there. Um, even after ultrasounds, like, I'm looking at the ultrasound photo and I see that there's something there. But being though I couldn't feel it, it was just like I didn't get confirmation. And even now at 31 weeks, I still don't feel like this is real. And I think being as though we were trying for so long and so many disappointments and stuff like that, it's hard to come to terms with the fact that it's actually happening. And the fact that it's happening in a way that I didn't plan for it to happen. Like it's not going how I thought it was supposed to go. So that's kind of like, you know, screwing with me. Um, first it was the ultrasounds and being though my uterus is tilted backwards and my placenta is the front in the front, it was hard for them to find a heartbeat. So every time I would go to the doctors up to 14 weeks, they couldn't find a heartbeat so they um scheduled me for a viability scan viability scan is just to go and make sure that everything is there and there's life and there's a heartbeat and stuff like that got the scan done heartbeat baby was there and that was supposed to be my confirmation but it wasn't so i said okay well maybe if i find out the gender then maybe I will feel some type of connection. Maybe I can put some type of identity to what's growing inside of me and connect with it. I had to fight with my doctors as far as um, finding out the gender. 
they wanted me to wait until 20 weeks for my anatomy scan, which some people were okay with, but I just felt like everyone else around me was getting like genetic testing done and they were finding out at 14 from like 12 weeks as early as 12 weeks and here I am 15 weeks and they're telling me no so I basically had a tantrum in the doctor's office and I made them give me a genetic test to tell me what the gender was <laughs> I had like a full meltdown because I felt like I should have the same privileges as everyone else to be able to find out before 20 weeks so um found out and you guys probably seen my um gender reveal video if you haven't i'll link it and but um even after finding out the gender it just wasn't settling i still couldn't connect with the baby it was just like okay <laughs> i i don't know it just i don't know so then i'm like okay well maybe if i give the baby a name then it'll happen gave the baby a name and it didn't happen i still have a hard time saying my baby's name out loud she has a bunch of nicknames that we call her but i can't really connect with my baby on a personal level i can't call her by her given name or anything like that i don't know why I just have a huge disconnect. Um, then after that was my 20 week scan, my anatomy scan. I finally got a little bit of the support that I was looking for. So I'm like, okay, well maybe after this, you know, um, I'll probably feel a little bit better. Once the anatomy scan, and it seemed like as soon as we left the anatomy scan and I actually got to see her, and she was moving that I started to feel her. So I didn't start feeling movement until 20 weeks. I guess I had to see that she was moving for me to be able to feel that she was moving. So once she started moving and stuff like that, it's like I know that she was there. But that also made things a lot worse. Um, I started feeling like I don't deserve to be a mom. I started feeling like, um, like there's so many people out here that hasn't been able to conceive. Like I tried for two years and it was hard and all of that. And I'm grateful for the opportunity and the blessing. But I feel like it's people out here that's been trying for 10 plus years. Um, they're married and happy, loving relationships and have wonderful homes and have everything and all they need is just that missing puzzle you know the missing piece of the puzzle which is a baby and they just haven't been blessed with it i feel like why was i why was i blessed with it i mean my situation isn't too far off but i just felt like i just didn't deserve it i don't know why but i just felt that way um I started feeling like I should give my baby up for adoption. I didn't tell my husband this. He doesn't know. But I started feeling like that. Um, I told a few people. Just like one or two people. And they basically were like, you're crazy. Stuff like that. Not in a bad way. But um, it just... I don't know I felt embarrassed to say it out loud to people um but that's over I don't feel like that anymore um then I started to feel like when I did feel her move and stuff like that I started to feel annoyed like I'm trying to forget my reality I don't enjoy being pregnant and I don't like to think about it but it's like when she moves or I feel her kick I'm forced to think about not just being pregnant but everything else that's going on too surrounding me being pregnant and me having a baby soon so I started to resent the feeling of her moving 
Um, I know people kill for that and they say that that's the best part of being pregnant, but I don't enjoy it. I don't like having to share my body with someone else, especially someone else that I can't connect with. I, um, now that I'm so close to the end, it doesn't bother me as much. She's very active, like she doesn't sleep. <laughs> She's very active all the time, so I've gotten used to it now, and I don't feel as much annoyed as I used to, but I still don't really have much of a connection with her. Um, I got my 3D ultrasound done earlier this week, well, this past weekend, and um, I put a face with a name with the movement. And I feel like it has to grow on me. Like, I didn't get that instant connection. Like, oh, there it is. This is it. Like, I still have this it's not real type of feeling. And I just don't understand why. Um, I just don't know. Hopefully, I'll feel better. Um, but if any of you have experienced any of these things or experience, um, pregnancy depression or had like these thoughts that I'm having, I would like to connect with you. Like, you know, message me, send me a DM. I'm always open to talk. I want to talk with people who's experienced this rather than talking to someone who doesn't understand and that just makes me feel like I'm crazy or I'm doing too much or, oh no, it's just pregnancy hormones. or I mean, it probably is just pregnancy hormones, but I'd rather connect with somebody that's going through it and fully understand rather than trying to get someone to understand how I feel. I'll leave all my information in the description box below so you guys can, you know keep in contact and stuff like that but yeah um as you can see i'm still laying in the bed <laughs> it's probably like three o'clock in the afternoon but i just don't have the energy to get up um you know i'm not working i haven't been working almost my entire pregnancy <laughs> and this is pretty much what i do all the time is either lay in the bed or lay in the couch um i get up and i do stuff sometimes just like the normal market store i have my own business so i've been getting maybe like one or two orders here or there but um i haven't really had the energy or the what do you say with this pregnancy brain stuff i forget a lot <laughs> um i haven't had the energy or the drive to get up and do anything else so i pretty much Put myself on bed rest you can kind of say since the beginning of my pregnancy because I just I'm either sick or I just don't feel like doing anything like mentally I just feel overwhelmed all the time um I tried to work I took on like a little temp job for like four weeks and once that was over I was already too far to like pick up another job in order to be you know um Working didn't help. I thought that it would like keep my mind off of stuff. Um, that I wouldn't have so much ample time to think negatively. But the job was boring and I had more time to think negatively. Because <laughs> it was so boring. But mostly other than that I've been home. And laying around. I know I need to get up soon and do exercises and prepare my body for labor. Um, but yeah, that's another video. But yeah, I'm going to come back and do updates. I might do them in increments rather than each week, being as though I'm so far off. Um, so I'll start that probably after, right after I record this. I'll start that. I've been writing everything down as far as week to week about what's been going on. So you guys won't, you know, I won't forget anything to tell you or what's been happening or what's been going on but yeah um see you in the next video but definitely hit me up if you've gone through this 
because I definitely want to be able to have someone with experience to talk to. Alright, thanks, bye.